you have to hand it to Chevrolet. In just a few short years, the heartbeat of America has remade most of its domestic lineup, replacing most but not all. Um, the iconic Malibu sedan, Camaro, and Corvette quickly come to mind, vehicles, with a vast lineup of SUVs. From the entry-level tracks to the legendary Suburban, Chevrolet, Chevrolet indeed has an SUV in just about every size and capability imaginable. Stylish, functional, and impressively reliable, Chevrolet continues to stay relevant in a mobility universe that continues to change in real time. Now that brings me to the all new Chevrolet Blazer. To be honest, if you're an adult of a certain age, you might remember a big and brawny full-size rough and tumble SUV from years gone by with the same name. And although I won't hold it against you, the only thing that is a carryover is the name. The all new Blazer shares nothing with the previous model, and that's a good thing. Featuring one of the boldest, most progressive expression of Chevrolet crossover design, the all new Blazer SUV was introduced to the American motoring public in early 2019. Available in four trim levels and in front or all wheel drive, the Blazer is positioned in the automaker's lineup between the Equinox and the Traverse. Base power is generated by a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that produces 193 horsepower and 188 foot pounds of torque. Upmarket models are equipped with a 3.6 liter six cylinder motor, which cranks out 308 horses and 250, I'm sorry, 270 pound feet of torque. For 2020, Blazer added a two liter four cylinder turbo, which makes 227 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. All three engines are bolted to a hydromatic nine speed automatic transmission. EPA fuel economy is 21 city, 27 highway for the base 2.5 liter four cylinder. The four, I'm sorry, the two point, the two liter four cylinder turbo comes in at 22 city, 29 highway for front wheel drive, 22 city, 27 highway for all wheel drive. And the 3.6 liter V6 delivers 20 city and 27 highway for front wheel drive, 19 city, 26 highway for all wheel drive. Cargo capacity is 64.2 cubic feet, with towing capacity 4,500 pounds. Here's what I liked about the vehicle. Before I share that, a confession. I really thought I wasn't going to like this vehicle. I mean, with Chevrolet's vast lineup of SUVs, I thought this was going to be some kind of warmed over model lifted from somewhere else. For example, a lightly redone or stretched version of something else. <laughs> okay. I was wrong. The Blazer impressed me from the first time I sat in it. There's so much to like. Strong launch response, predictable handling, and control at speed that adds to driver confidence. Inside the cabin, most of the switches, displays, and controls were exactly where a person of a certain age, and that means me, could easily find them. I mean, it's one of the most convenient setups I've experienced in a long time, maybe ever. And by the way, put a pin in that mostly because we're going to come back to it. Seating and cargo space is comfortable, useful, and well laid out. And I got to admit, I quickly fell in love with this one. Now, here's what I didn't like about the vehicle. Now, you remember how I said most of the switches, displays, and controls were awesome? Well, there's a line of switches in the center console just below the infotainment system that's partially obscured by a thick trim piece. I suspect that also being a man of short stature, and because I have to sit close to the steering wheel than most, I think that it's partially obscured. But, you know, if Chevrolet would just move those switches about two millimeters or so outward, or shrink the trim piece a bit, well, all would be well. And also, the temperature adjustment for the climate control system requires you to turn the outside of the left center console vent, and it's a bit of wonkiness that you'll have to get used to, but the good news is you will. A cool tech. Today, most vehicles literally bristle with plenty of high-tech infotainment performance and safety features. And the 2021 Chevrolet Blazer is no exception. Let's just say that the SUV has more tech than you'll ever use or need and just enough advanced safety features to keep you safe should you ever need it. The list is long and impressive, so I'm not going to bore you with the details. Let's just say 
that the Blazers is no slouch when it comes to technology. So here's the bottom line. And I want to go on record saying this first. And I want to say it to you, Chevrolet. You broke my heart. This is an SUV that I would personally buy outright, hands down, for so many reasons. But the sticker price <laughs> stopped me cold. Yeah, you could buy this SUV for less money than the one I test drove because, you know, they want to wow the automotive journalists with all the fancy stuff. But yes, it drives up the sticker price, even though it's really nice. I would really love to drive a base model to see if the love that I have for this thing would still be there. In any case, the Blazer is what I would call a right size Chevy for those of us who are empty nesters but want something with a bit more room and sophistication than an Equinox, but you're not quite ready for the heft of a Traverse, AKA Mom Mobile. Well made and well engineered. You're gonna to wanna to add this one to your shopping list. The base manufacturer suggested retail price for the 2021 Chevrolet Blazer SUV starts from $28,800 for the Blazer Forward L up to the $45,850 for the all-wheel drive Premier 3.6. Destination charges add $1,195. Now, you'll see what I mean when I tell you about the MSRP as tested. The 2021 Blazer RS all-wheel drive with the following options is what I drove. Enhanced convenience package, driver confidence two package, cherry red tint tote exterior paint, and storage optimization package. Total cost of the options, $3,980. Total MSRP, including options and destination charges, $47,680. And I want to say that again. <laughs> $47,000. I'm a little short. You broke my heart, Chevrolet. I just want you to know. I mean, I loved this thing. It was perfect for me. Perfect size, perfect layout, perfect everything. Not so perfect sticker price, though. What would you compare it with that you like more? Ooh, I don't know, because I like the size of this thing. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I really liked it. It won me over. It's just the right size. Expensive. I think so. Baseline that we don't know exactly. Well, 28.8, and I, I would really like to drive a baseline one to see if I'd still love it. We are Roadworthy Drive.